for FAB 3000. Uh, in this example here, what we're going to do is load in a set of Gerber files, uh, extract the netlist, and then we're going to load in an external IPC netlist and run a comparison uh, to make sure that the electric connectivity uh, for the Gerber files are fine. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is use the auto load feature here to load a group of uh, Gerber files that are contained inside of one folder. So I'll click here. And you'll see I click this particular folder, and in here you'll see the, all the data, drills, uh, all the other information. Click Next. In this particular area here, I could assign the layer types uh, for each particular layer, or FAT3000 may automatically detect them, uh, depending on how you've set up your layer type detection table, which we can review at a later time. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to load the data in. Great. So now I have my board in. So first thing we want to do is go ahead, before we run any netlist extraction or comparison, we need to assign the layer types. Um, so I'll open the table up here. So you see FAT3000 has detected some layer types, but it's our job to complete the rest. Now in this example, obviously I remember which were the particular layer types. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill them in. If it's your board, you should probably be somewhat familiar with which uh, particular layer type is. Um, so this would be just a second here. We got like the solder paste top layer and the silk screen top right there. Perfect. All right, now that we've assigned all the layers, let's go ahead and run Netlist Extraction. Go to the Tools menu, Net, Netlist Extraction. Use the default options and press Next. So, currently at this moment, FAT3000 is using a bunch of different algorithms to uh, determine what is connected to each other, and uh, now we've got everything up. So you'll see here the netlist will be displayed down here and I can click say for instance any of the links here and it will automatically zoom and highlight uh, each particular net. Another nice feature of FAB3000 is I can also isolate the net, let's say for instance by using this option and I can quickly just get a grasp of what exactly which net I'm looking at or I can choose the highlight method where depending on your needs you'll see that the, the net is the particular net is highlighted. I personally prefer the shadow method which just makes it easier for me to see. Great, so now we've got our netlist extracted from the Gerber files. We reset here. So the next thing I want to do is go, let's go ahead and import the IPC netlist. And the IPC netlist will basically go right here. And then we have that netlist sample netlist file sitting in here. Select the default options. As you'll see right here, it's uh, loaded in 1,388 points. Uh, and then if I wish to compare the nets, I just go to the tools menu net, compare nets, and the other information is there also. So great. Now another nice thing you'll see is that all the net points here have been defined by little characters. So if I turn off all the layers, you'll see that all the net points are determined. And basically coming down in this shape would mean it's a, a connection from the top, and coming down from this shape means it's a connection at the bottom. Since all these drills are all through hole, pretty much everything is going to have this X shape. Uh, just to kind of show you, but if I load the data on, it kind of gives you an idea where all your particular net points are. All right, great. So now let's go ahead and run a netlist uh, comparison. Compare nets. So in this particular uh, example we ran, there was no uh, net compare errors. Had there been any net compare errors, it would have came up with a little browser dialog box to show you where the shorts or any other uh, potential problems would be. Thank you very much.